From the mid-1990s, new website owners realized the importance of ranking high in the search engines, or at the time in 1994, Yahoo. However, more recently, Google has owned the biggest share of online search. So what is search engine optimization, or SEO? It's the process of increasing quality traffic to a web property, such as a website or blog. Unlike paid advertising, such as Google AdWords, SEO is a natural or organic approach to ranking high in search engine result pages. In theory, the higher website appears in the search engines, the more visitors they will receive. And generally speaking, this is true, as you can see from this heat map here. Most internet users think SEO is super complicated and don't understand the SEO lingo with terminologies like algorithm, anchor text, backlinks, etc. But if you break it down, it really can be quite simple. For example, an algorithm is simply the process that a search engine uses to rank websites. Anchor text is simply the blue underlined link that you click in an article or web page. And backlinks are actually votes given by other web pages linking back to your site. Basically, they're saying your site is worth noting on a particular topic. So although terminologies and definitions are important, it's more important to know what a search engine wants and expects so you can simply give it to them. SEO isn't as complicated as people may think. Usually it's more tedious and time consuming than anything else. So if you have the time, your site can rank organically, which is ultimately free. Now that we have an understanding of what SEO is, let's look at a few SEO techniques. Effective SEO in the eyes of a search engine is considered white hat SEO. White hat involves best practices, does not include manipulating or tricking search engines through any number of the things that they want you not to do. On the flip side, black hat SEO techniques are against best practices and could get your website banned from the search engines. Therefore, those developing a web property should take special note of this, and not only because of the reasons getting banned, but white hat approaches have specific elements that will promote long-term sustainable growth, so your online business can continue to grow and prosper. Now, we're not going to get into specifics of all the different black hat techniques or all the different white hat techniques in this video, but when it comes to black hat, just think of things, it's anything that you're doing to artificially manipulate search results pages. This could be through buying links, this could be through um, keyword stuffing, this could be through uh, now the over-optimization penalty where you just stuff keywords all over your page and then try to hope that that somehow makes Google think that, hey, if I say uh, best hosting 1,000 times on my 2,000 word article, they'll think this is the best article on hosting. It doesn't work that way anymore. Search engine friendliness is another term worth looking at because it involves the employment of best practices to your website pages. It's also a classic white hat SEO approach. So the more search engine friendly you can offer a site to the search engines, such as relevant title text, a uh, good meta description, uh, a balanced approach to listing your keyword on your article so you're not doing too much, but you're also not doing too little. The more you do this, the better search engines will respond to your site and therefore rank you higher and ultimately give you more traffic. Now, of course, this also incorporates uh, backlinks, social uh, links such as likes, tweets, etc. And we'll get more into those later. A title tag, as I mentioned, is a short code that can be applied to a web page. This code then becomes the title of the web page that visitors use when landing on the page, and it's what they see in the search results. A title tag is most effective when having specific keywords that you want to rank for as part of the title. But going even further than that, it's good to be creative with what you put in your title tag. If you notice that's what people see when they're searching around on Google or Yahoo or Bing, it's always important to try to be creative by maybe posing a question instead of just stating your keyword. So if your keyword is best hosting, maybe ask a question, looking for the best hosting? Question mark side-by-side -side comparisons of hosting companies reviewed. There are many other things like this you can do to really help optimize and maximize the use of a title tag. Now a description tag is a short code applied to a web page to give a search engine and search engine results page a brief summary of what your page is about. Although the description tag is less important than title tags, they are highly recommended. There are so many other factors for developing a strong SEO approach, and these factors will be discussed in our future SEO videos.